Hello and welcome to Bonner Heritage Farm. Today we're in our apple orchard and we're going to learn more about apples and check out our cider press. Join us! The Bonner family emigrated from Scotland to Summers, Wisconsin in 1840. In 1842, William and Margaret Bonner purchased this land for its good supply of trees, for William's carpentry business, and to start a farm. Several generations of the Bonner family lived on and worked this farm until the 1990s, making this a centennial farm. In 1995, the Bonner family donated eight acres, including the farm buildings, to the Lake County Forest Preserves. Today, you can walk the grounds to learn more about the history of the site and see these historic buildings up close, including the Great Barn shown here Built in 1848, this is one of the oldest still standing in the county. Though the apple trees on site today were planted by the Lake County Forest Preserves, the Bonner family had many fruit trees over the years, including various apple trees. Members of the family recall using the apples for applesauce and cider. One of the activities that we often do at Bonner Farm this time of year is demonstrate how our cider press works. We'll show you a bit of that today. So at the top of the cider press, we put the apples in, and we're gonna need a lot of apples to make cider. So to take a closer look, we're gonna remove the top piece, and now we can see the apples have fallen into this part with a wooden barrel and metal teeth attached. This piece will turn when I turn this wheel. And typically this wheel would be attached with a belt to a motor, but for today's purposes, I will hand power this. You'll see, as we start to turn, the apples will start to crunch and they will be broken into smaller pieces that will actually fall into the container below. It takes roughly 35 to 40 apples to make a gallon of cider. So we're gonna add some more apples into our machine, not to make a gallon, but to make a decent amount to show how it works. Then we will continue to turn the wheel and break these apples down into smaller parts. This is the hardest part of the process. our apple pieces broken down, it's time to press the juice out of them. I'm going to pull the tray out and now you can see our apple pieces collected onto the tray. I'm just going to even them out and then we are going to add this plate which will help push the juices out. And on top of the plate we have weights. Two pieces of wood, down on top and crisscross and then we have this metal plate on top and this has a hole in it so that when we screw this part down they will line up and this will actually put the pressure down to squeeze the juice out of the apples. We'll line our stuff back up and we'll be ready to go. Now we're going to turn the handle to apply pressure to squeeze the cider out of the apples. Now that everything is lined up, we'll start to apply more pressure and you'll start to see the cider drain out into the pail. Thanks for joining.